Hey there, gang. A little bit of a different unboxing today because I was in the office and as I happened to be walking around and passing the uh, pressing station and happened to glance over at a box of books that's scheduled to go off to CGC, what did I see? <laughs> Look at that. So, like I said, not going to be a long video this time out, but we are going to take a look at some things that we don't normally see in the regular unboxings that I do. So, if you like comic books and you like the big money key comic books, stick around. Oh, we're going to have some fun. Hey there, Bubby. Welcome to Shang Hollow. Well, my name is Duke, and this is an unboxing video. Well, it's not really an unboxing video. I'm not pulling anything out of boxes this time. I'm just having to, uh, <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm going to show you some of the things that are sitting here waiting to go to uh, CGC. Uh, so they're not in a box for me. They're not even really in a box. They're actually waiting to be pressed. We will uh, press these books before we send them off. So if you haven't seen one of these videos before, normally what I do is I show you the books that have been set aside for me to grade, the company that I, I work for. We buy and sell comic books uh, online, and my job is, most of my job, about 90% of my job, is grading the books that we sell on eBay. So, you know, the collections come in, they've been parsed out, and certain books have been set aside for me to grade, uh, and they're going to be sold on eBay as what we call a raw single. One book not not slabbed or anything like that just sold as is and it's going to be a single book lot on ebay we're hoping to get at least 10 bucks for it generally the things we expect go for 100 bucks or more we will send those to cgc uh and that's the outfit that you're probably aware of if you know anything about comic books uh and um you know the the books are encapsulated in these these slabs to preserve the condition and those when they come back to us because we're in maine CGC is in Florida, and right now they're way backed up, months months and months and months. But once they come back to us, those books are not sold on eBay. Those are sold on a third-party site, which is also located here in Maine, called comiclink.com. So what we're going to see here is books that normally we would never see in my regular unboxing videos, or if we saw them, they would be in much lower grade. And uh, so here is something that we would almost never see, and that is, look at that. Incredible Hulk 181, first appearance of Wolverine, first full appearance. The issue before this, he makes a one-panel cameo. Here's the first appearance of the new X-Men, giant size X-Men number one. So first appearance of Storm, Colossus, Nightcrawler, uh, Thunderbird, Wolverine. I think that's only like his second appearance. <laughs> Your second full appearance, you know, not counting cameos and things. And there's another Hulk 181. So that's that's pretty cool. And then we have here an amazing Spider-Man number one. And you can see there's a little chip missing out here, but uh, that that's still that's that's pretty neat. And I'm doing these in uh, in kind of a small uh, small allotments here because they are actually sorted already to go to uh, to go to CGC. They have different tiers of grading, is what they call um, express, walkthrough, and, and things like that. So they're sorted here, so I'm trying not to mix them up. Here is uh, Avengers number four, the first Silver Age appearance of Captain America. And here's an issue of the Hulk from that uh, first run. Again, missing a little piece of the corner here, but still should do real, real well. That's issue number two. So the second appearance of the Hulk. First appearance of the Green Hulk. And as you probably know, in that first issue, he was gray. And then afterward, they decided that on the newsprint, the gray color on the black and white artwork, on the newsprint paper, it just kind of looked like mud. So they made him green. And that stood out, stood out a lot better, although this first series ended up only lasting six issues. And then we have here, what do we have? This is the issue of Superman, Superman number 100. Wow. And you see here, there's a note on it for the person who does the pressing, our shipping manager, Jamie, when he's not packaging books, if you happen to buy anything from us on eBay or 
either one of our web stores, uh, sellmycomicbooks.com or .comcomics.com. When he's not shipping those books out to you, he's busy pressing the books. And he's got some instructions here to send it through the hydration station first, and then also to take care of that spine roll. Here's another Avengers number four, but that one doesn't look nearly as nice, does it? An Amazing Spider-Man 121. That is the uh, spoiler warning, Death of Gwen Stacy. Tales to Astonish, number 44, first appearance of the Wasp. And you can see this arrived uh, March 18th at the, you know, it's a June cover date, but arrived at the newsstand March 18th. This is an early issue of Journey into Mystery for Marvel, number 22. So back when it was just a regular old uh, run-of-the-mill mystery title before the superheroes came along. And then X-Men number three, first appearance of the Blob. What do you think of that? That's pretty cool, huh? Now here's a batch. I'll do this one as a whole big batch. These are all scheduled to go through the uh, economy tier. So what do we get here? Detective Comics number 248. That's pretty cool. Number 244 with all the different Batarangs. That's neat. Ooh, and the secret Batarang X. <laughs> A showcase number 14. So this is, gosh, which appearance is this of The Flash? Second, third, fourth? I'd have to look it up. I know showcase four, but I forget... I forget how long it took them to to uh, give him a second and third tryout. This, I do not believe, is the first Space Ranger, but it is number 16 in the showcase. And uh, that's pretty cool. Number 15, this one might be the first. I think it is. This is the first Space Ranger. And there was, this is actually part of a, a bet. Julius Schwartz, one of the editors at DC, and another editor, uh, whose name I'm going to have to put on the screen because I can't think of it off the top of my head at the moment, they had a bet over who could come up with the best new uh, science fiction character. And Schwartz ended up with Adam Strange, and this other editor came up with Space Ranger. Iron Man number two, we see that quite often in my regular unboxings, but not quite in a nice shape. The, <laughs> the Rainbow Batman, which meant a little something different then than it would today. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's your, that's your LGBTQ uh, alphabet person, Batman. The uh, Dynamic Trio. Oh, no. Who's the guy with the M on his chest? Marvel? Oh, no, Mystery Man. My goodness. And there's Vicky Vale. And the Calendar Man. Is that the first Calendar Man? Gosh, it must be, huh? That's Detective Comics number 259. Here is Detective, what's the number, 254? Is that the first Ace the Bat Hound? I don't know. Ooh, Iron Man number one. We just saw number two. There's number one. A little rough down here in the corner, but still pretty neat. Here's number three. First appearance of the Red Guardian, Avengers number 43. First appearance of uh, Polaris with a nice Steranko cover, X-Men number 50. Here's a Superman, number 113. Oh, a special three-part novel complete in this issue. What do you think of that? Superman's Billion Dollar Debt, number 114. Captain America number 100, that's the uh, first issue, after the changeover from Tales of Suspense. X-Men number 11, X-Men number 15, Superman number 109, Ventriloquist was Superman. <laughs> Ooh, nice, showcase number 12. It's a very early Challengers of the Unknown. I don't think that's the first one. Again, I don't remember the first one, uh, the issue number off the top of my head, but that cover's not jumping out at me as the first one, but it's like maybe second or third. X-Men number 13, Juggernaut. Nice. Ooh, Conan the Barbarian, number one. That's nice. And here's the first appearance of the Falcon. 
Captain America number 117. That's nice. And I've got one more stack here to show you. Here is First Appearance of the Banshee, X-Men number 28. Here's number 46, 45. Marvel Premiere number 1 with uh, Adam Warlock. We see this a lot in my regular unboxings, but this is in much nicer shape than we normally would see. Same here with Avengers 53. Nice white cover this time out. Marvel Super Heroes 13, second appearance of the Captain Marvel version of Captain Marvel, and the first appearance of Carol Danvers in this issue. Iron Man number 55, I believe that's a Thanos story. Uh, and that, so that's, a, that's kind of a big deal. And of course you've got Drax here as well. Here is Incredible Hulk 182, so that is the... Third appearance of Wolverine. Again, he had a one-panel cameo in, in uh, 180, full appearance in 181, and then like a one-panel cameo at the beginning here of 182. Spider-Man and X-Men 35. X-Men 10. Nice. Nice and white here. Not quite as white, but there's another X-Men 3. The Superman Flash Race. That's nice. Superman 199. First appearance of uh, Dane Whitman as the Black Knight in Avengers 48. And that's big because of the Eternals movie. Here's number 47. First appearance, or first issue of The Incredible Hulk after the changeover from Tales to Astonish. First appearance of Doc Samson, Incredible Hulk 141. First appearance of The Vision. So in my regular unboxings, this is something we, we always get those gaps. You know, we'll have some, some low-grade issues up to uh, 56 and then 58 on. We never seem to get 57, but there it is. If you've been missing it in the regular videos, there it is for you. First appearance of Black Panther, Fantastic Four, number 52. Here is uh, Tales of Suspense, 52. First appearance of the Black Widow. Nice. Doctor Strange, 169. I think that's his first issue as well. The first in Humans, Fantastic Four, 45. And I believe this is the first Annihilus. Fantastic Four, King Size Special, number six. Here's a little Thanos action in Captain Marvel, 33. The Prowler. Amazing Spider-Man 78. And then the last, last book we're going to look at right here. Strange Tales number 114. And this was a tryout. Now we've seen Avengers number 4, which is the first Silver Age appearance of Captain America. That's actually the um, Steve Rogers Captain America. This was kind of a tryout where, um, I, I forget exactly the story, it's, but it's some guy in Captain America's costume. And I think it's actually a villain of some sort or something like that and it was just kind of a tryout to see if how readers would respond to Captain America would they want to see the actual real thing and uh, apparently the answer was yes <laughs> so there you go well that's it that's uh, that's some big books that we normally don't get to see in the regular unboxing so I hope I hope you enjoyed that that's uh, it was fun for me because that's stuff that I don't normally get to see that often myself. So until the next video, goodbye, good luck, and please be good to each other.